Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetic. In today's video, I'll be sharing a healthy hair routine. You guys will see everything from me unbraiding my hair to me styling my hair in a flexi rod set. So if you guys are interested in seeing and hearing my tips and the products that I use to achieve healthy hair after taking off a protective hairstyle, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on your bell notifications give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so i've had my hair in a protective style for about a month now i got these braids done while i was in abidjan and the ivory coast and i thought i was going to be able to keep these braids in longer but girl the expiration date crept up on me okay being a workout girly who has a sweaty scalp i don't like smelling my hair so i was like it's time for me to take these braids down so whenever i take my braids down i like to cut my braids a little bit underneath where i see my ends sticking out just to ensure that i don't cut any of my hair because babes we work too hard to be losing any inches by mistake so i always make sure that i cut my braids beneath where i see my natural hair ending but while I was removing my braids, I was listening to this whole Risa Tisa fiasco, y'all. If y'all haven't listened to that, y'all have to go listen to it. Because, babes, jaw was on the floor. On the floor, okay? But either way, I went ahead and started unbraiding my hair after I cut the ends off. And I was just taking my time. But this podcast, this TikTok story time, it kept me good company while I did have it in my protective style. So as I burn my hair, I wanted to share some tips with you guys about how I was able to maintain and like take care of my scalp while I had these braids in. So first of all, I didn't have my usual products because if you guys have been tuned into my channel, I'm currently in New York right now. I am not home in Houston, Texas. So it feels so weird saying that. But either way, I didn't have my usual products. So I had to make do with what I had. So while I've been away, I've been using two products in my scalp to help, you know, hair growth and just make sure that my hair is being taken care of. One, I've been using the Maya Organics Rosemary and Mint Oil. If you know me, you already know how I feel about that oil. But after a while, I feel like it was getting a little bit too heavy. So I transitioned over to a hair serum. I was using the Olay Jojoba Serum. I honestly have never used the serum in my hair i've only used it like on my body and i was just like i have this it's jojoba jojoba helps the hair grow so let me go ahead and use it and i loved it i loved it because it wasn't as heavy as the oil and i felt like it was more moisturizing and it didn't leave like any residue it didn't like kick up on you know my edges and in my scalp so if you guys are looking for a product i'm definitely gonna add this to my protective hairstyle hair care regimen these olay serums they're sold at walmart i believe but i will try to link them down below for your ease of reference and shopping but highly recommend because i feel like it definitely has kept my scalp in order while i had these braids in so after i took my braids out y'all huh was my hair dirty was my hair smelly yes it was but we're gonna go ahead and get into our pre-wash day routine so if you know me you know i stand by pre-shampoo you are not washing your hair correctly if you do not pre-shampoo your hair once again i didn't have my normal products with me so i had to make do with what i had so i was like we're gonna make a diy pre-shampoo because the buildup that we have in our scalp is a no so what i did is i went ahead and i took a spray bottle and i filled it up with some room temperature water and mixed a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it and this is going to make do to remove that buildup in the scalp so i just shook the water with like a little like a little little bit of apple cider vinegar you guys saw how much i put I sprayed that in the root of my hair and basically massaged it in to break up any product buildup that I've had in my scalp, <laughs> in my culture, in my language, you call it quas. It's like the leftovers, but I had so much and I hate getting in the shower and wetting my hair while that's still there because it causes the hair to tangle, which leads to breakage. And once again, we work too hard 
to be losing any inches by accident. So I went ahead and sprayed this concoction in my hair, massaged it in to break up the quass and I massage it throughout the like length of my hair too because I feel like apple cider vinegar as long as you don't leave it in too long I feel like it softens my hair a bit so either way this was my DIY pre-shampoo highly recommend you guys try this out I might even try this while I'm at home with my products as like a pre-pre-shampoo whenever I take off a protective style because this did exactly what I needed it to do of breaking up that product buildup so I highly recommend this as a shampoo okay it's quick it's easy you can use stuff you have in your house period we love that but either way after i applied the pre-shampoo to my hair i did allow it to sit in my hair for 30 minutes before i rinsed it out and y'all if you don't pre-shampoo your hair here i am again to remind you guys that you are not washing your hair unless you pre-shampoo it okay so if you don't have a pre-shampoo, get one. If you don't have a pre-shampoo, make one. Okay, you can make this one right here. Quick, easy with stuff you have in the house, and affordable. But this pre-shampoo worked because as you guys are going to be able to see, you can see all of the quass kind of like leaking on my forehead because the apple cider vinegar did what it had to do of like breaking it up so that when we get in the shower to wash our hair, everything is nice and soft and liquidy and ready to be removed but this is how much hair i lost in my pre-shampoo process because i was finger detangling my hair look at the qua ew but i was finger detangling my hair as i was applying this pre-poo treatment so here is my hair before i let it sit for 30 minutes once again i came back after 30 minutes to rinse it out and this is what my hair is looking like curls are popping okay moisture is here bounce is here volume is here like oh my god my hair felt so amazing so now i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair to wash my hair today i'm gonna use this shea moisture coconut and hibiscus shampoo this is the mini size i picked it up from ulta beauty but this shampoo right here gets me together each and every time like my hair is always left so moisturized like it doesn't strip my hair of its natural nutrients like it just does everything that it has to do so shea moisture if you are watching this I beg you, never ever change the formula of this shampoo right here because it is simply amazing. I did have to shampoo my hair three times because I wanted to get rid of all of the quass that was there as well as the smell that was on my hair. So I did have to go in and shampoo three times, but that was no pressure. So after I shampooed my hair, I came out the shower and girl, it was time to deep condition. Okay, it was time to deep condition. And to deep condition today, I am going to use a Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner. I deep condition each and every time I wash my hair. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> but I highly recommend to deep condition often. Once again, every time I wash my hair, I just deep condition because it's just the easiest thing to do. So I went ahead and detangled my hair using this Pattern Beauty brush. And then once my hair was detangled, I went in with the deep conditioner. This is my first time trying this Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Hair Mask from Shea Moisture and Babes. <laughs> let's get into the application first of all the consistency of this product it's heavy but once you work it into your hair it just like melts in like i couldn't believe it i'm like wow i didn't think that a product this thick could melt into my hair like this and it did loved it it smelled so great it left my hair just feeling so like i didn't want to stop finger detangling my hair because it left my hair feeling so great so I would highly recommend this deep conditioner if you guys are on the market for a deep conditioner, a new one. If you guys like trying deep conditioners, try this one out. Let me know what you guys think. It was like 13 bucks from Target and they had the whole line. So I might have to try more products from this line, okay? And once again, this video is not sponsored by Shea Moisture, but it could be. So Shea Moisture was popping. <laughs> but either way, went ahead and applied my deep conditioner throughout my whole head. Took the time to detangle it because you want to make sure that, you know, your hair is nice and detangled through each and every step of your wash day routine. I let this deep conditioner sit in my hair for an hour before I came back and rinsed it out. This deep conditioner has moisturizing properties. It doesn't have protein, so I was comfortable leaving it on my hair for an hour before I came back and rinsed it out. I went ahead and just threw my hair in a bun to let it sit in my hair. And as always, I have to apply a little bit of extra product on my edges before I go ahead and sit down with my deep conditioner in. But the curls were popping. Y'all saw them curls bouncing, biggity, bouncing, biggity, bouncing, biggity, bouncing. But it 
If you are experiencing hair loss or dryness in your hair, you really want to make sure that the deep conditioner that you are using addresses your hair concerns and your hair needs because you are leaving this mask in your hair for X amount of time. And this is really a treatment like deep conditioners are a hair treatment. So you want to make sure that the treatment that you are using actually addresses your hair concerns. So I would highly recommend this mask if you have dry hair because ah, y'all, my hair came out feeling so moisturized. Like my curls were popping. My hair was nice and shiny. So I highly, highly recommend this deep conditioner and I will be introducing it to my normal hair care routines. Y'all look at the curls. Look at the curls, period. So to style my hair today, I wanted to try something a little different or whatever. You guys know I usually stick to the same things, but... I was like, I want to try something new today. So today I want to try a flexi rod set. I haven't done a flexi rod set on my hair in literally years. So I was hoping it came out right because I was recording this video. <laughs> but whenever I do flexi rod sets, I like to stretch my hair first by blow drying it. So that's what we're going to do first. To blow dry my hair, I'm using this Mazzani 25 Miracle Cream. I use this as a heat protectant. This cream has 25 benefits for the hair, one of them being that it is a heat protectant. And then I detangle my hair using this pattern brush just to make sure that everything was nice and in order before we went ahead and blow dry the hair. I don't have my Dyson or my T3 blow dryers with me, so I did go ahead and borrow my sister's blow dryer. I believe this is the Con Air Silverbird. I think that's the name of it. I'll link it down below because this blow dryer gives me great results as well. And whenever I use this blow dryer, you guys always have girl what blow dryer is that. This blow dryer is super affordable, especially compared to the Dyson Supersonic and the T3 blow dryer. So if you guys are looking for a blow dryer, I highly recommend this Kanye blow dryer right here. And then as you guys can see, I have like a comb attachment on it, which is super great for my thick hair girlies. So I will go ahead and link a similar comb attachment down below that you can attach to this Kanye blow dryer to get super great results. This is a affordable option for a blow dryer that is going to give you great results. And I really love it. So the links will be down below to what y'all got to do with that information. But as I am blow drying my hair, I'm just taking my time to make sure that my hair is as stretched out as it can be. I've been using this blow dryer for years whenever I need to borrow my sister's blow dryer and I never experienced any heat damage because I know that's another question that you guys ask when it comes to blow drying my hair because I haven't straightened my hair in over 10 years because of my fear of heat damage, but blow drying never gave me any type of heat damage. So I, I would recommend just make sure you're using a great heat protectant. As I showed you guys, I used the Mazzani one, but I also came across the L'Oreal one that allegedly is like really great at protecting the hair against heat so i will be trying that one real soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for my next healthy hair routine video but this is what my hair looks like after i blow dry half of it and you guys can see the before and after right here side by side picture so it's really important to stretch your hair out if you want a sleek pop and flexi rod set so yeah these blow dry results i was honestly amazed but my hair is growing so much and it's so healthy and i'm proud of myself so that is why i really enjoy sharing these healthy hair routines with you guys so we can all have healthy hair together okay so here is the final result to me blow drying my hair and now we're gonna hop over to get into the styling so to style my hair today i'm gonna use this mazani styling foam this foam right here chef's kiss Mazzani, if you're watching this never change the formula of this styling foam right here so i just made sure that each section was nice and saturated from roots to ends and then i'm gonna go ahead and put the flexi rod in so with the flexi rod set as well as perm rod sets it's super important how you put the roller in to make sure that you get the results that you want so i just go ahead and twist it up and when i have about an inch left i twist it at the roots and then i go ahead and secure my flexi rod underneath that flipper root y'all see what i'm doing y'all see what i'm doing i hope i'm explaining it well but this is what works for me when it comes to flexi rods so i'm going to show you guys another section so you guys can really see what i did so saturated my hair from ends to roots i made sure that the hair was nice and detangled took the flexi rod rolled it up and when i had about an inch left i flipped it okay y'all see i flipped it 
and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the flexi rod around underneath that flipper root. That's the key, okay? The twist at the root and the flipper root underneath, that is going to get you a fire flexi rod set. So I went ahead and applied the flexi rods throughout my head. And y'all, the only thing about flexi rods and perm rods, I thought about this after. I'm like, girl, how am I going to sleep with these in my head? But I did it. It's not the most comfortable sleep that you're going to get, but it's worth it when the results are fire. So once again, I'll demonstrate again. I went ahead, made sure the end was nice and secure, rolled it up, rolled it up, rolled it up. When I had about an inch left at the root, I flipped the root, put the flexi rod underneath that flipper root. And that was it so here is the final results of my flexi rod application everything is nice and tight once your flexi rods are like dangling or they don't feel secure girl the flexi rod set ain't gonna be fire okay you gotta take it out and start over but you guys can see my flexi rods are nice and secure and intact so i knew that my results were gonna be fire so i went ahead and went to sleep and the next day it was time to take the flexi rods down y'all look at the makeup a minute for the makeup because the face came out beat and i did record it for y'all so i will link that video up above in the cards but either way i went ahead and started removing my flexi rods from the back 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 and i just rolled it in the opposite direction and y'all <gasps> look at this look at this curl period so i went ahead and separated each section where it naturally separated this is what's going to give your flexi rod set that nice voluminous effect you want to make sure that you take your time and separate your hair where it naturally separates and just spiral around in your finger just to make sure that each section has a nice bouncy curly effect you get what i'm saying so taking the flexi rods down it takes a good amount of time don't rush it because when you rush it you're not going to get the results that you want trust me i have learned by making many many failing attempts of this so you want to make sure you take your time to take it down some people put oil on their fingers but listen with the products that i use my hair was already shiny so i said i don't need any oil okay baby so i just went ahead and separated each section and y'all the results from this flexi rod set fire but i will say that the only thing that i realized that i need to improve on when it comes to flexi rod sets is making sure that when i apply the styling foam i put a lot on the ends because you guys are going to see that some of my ends are kind of frizzy and it's because in those sections i didn't put enough styling foam on the ends of my hair and as we all know the ends of our hair are the oldest they're the driest and they just require a little bit more tlc okay they cry for attention a little bit and we have to give it to them because we want our hair to look fire right so this is what half of my hair looked like once i took the flexi rods out like it's giving shirley temple okay so i went ahead and took all of them out and this is what my hair looks like i went ahead and took a pick and just you know pick my roots a little bit to give my hair more volume i shook my curls up to give it a little bit more volume because i didn't want it to give like middle school picture day look okay i wanted it to have a nice voluminous effect and this was day one i didn't want to separate it too much because you know we still had a few more days to try to make this hairstyle last but i was in love with my results like comment down below and let me let me know what you guys think about how my flexi round set came out but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i love sharing these videos to help all of us make sure that we are keeping our hair healthy and to give you guys different style ideas and different tips on ways that you can take care of your hair so as always i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think all of the products will be linked down below in the description box and so make sure you guys check it out i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye. Outside.